Hello and welcome to a new video on Venture Capital. In today's video, we will discuss about the Venture Capital process, which is a step-by-step -step process. So from the point of view of a Venture Capitalist, he may get a lot of business proposals from different business entrepreneurs who are new into the market or who are new into the business. So upon the receipt of all these business proposals from the entrepreneurs or from the promoters in the form of business plans, we can say it is business plan or business proposal. So the first step that the venture capitalist take is accepting the business plans and then screening each business plan appropriately. So all of a sudden after the receipt of business plan, the venture capitalist will not take a decision to finance that particular venture or to finance that particular entrepreneur. So they will go or the, this particular business proposal may travel through different steps, through the selection process, through the evaluation process or uh, the structuring, the deal process. So they pass through different steps of process. After that only the particular business proposal may be accepted by the venture capitalist. So before offering fund, the business plan should be analyzed properly and also it should be valued properly. After this perfect valuation and analysis only, the exit policy, the consideration, or the venture capital financing assistance etc should be decided by the venture capitalist okay so the first uh, approach by the venture capitalist is the receipt of the investment proposal so there are different entrepreneurs thousands of entrepreneurs approaching a particular venture capital uh, venture capitalist with their own business proposals or business plans so they the venture capitalist may accept the investment proposal. So now from here on the steps of venture capital starts or the process of venture capital starts. So let's see how it works. So these are the steps involved or these are the process which is involved in the venture capital process that is selection of investment proposal appraisal of the proposal, valuation of the proposal, structuring the deal, post investment services, evaluation and monitoring and finally exit. So as we have already discussed in the earlier video regarding the stages of venture capital financing pattern, some venture capitalists provide them with expansion financing, some with development financing, then some uh, provide finance to the sick companies or sick industries. Some venture capitalists help in acquisition financing, or oh, sorry, uh, helps in acquisition or uh, buyouts, or uh, some venture capitalists uh, provide turnaround financing, etc. So, keeping in mind all those uh, financing patterns, we will move into the venture capital process now. So as I have mentioned, the first step or the first process, first step in the process is the selection of investment proposal. So after the receipt of investment proposal by the venture capitalist, it is the first step which involves the selection of investment proposals. So the proposals are selected on the basis of the business plans or the business proposals submitted by the entrepreneurs. In addition to that, while accepting the proposals or while accepting the receipt of the proposals the venture capitalist may look into the track record of the promoters or the entrepreneurs then the expertise of the entrepreneurs the feasibility and marketability of the business idea etc so after looking into all these things the, a particular investment proposal will be selected by the venture capitalist okay so the feasibility study is done so they need to uh, look whether investment in this particular business idea will uh, make some uh, profit or uh, will make some growth. So they, they need to 
think about that also so based on all these things as per um, a first level screening is done a screening is done by the venture capitalist okay so appraisal of the proposal is done on the basis of the nature of project its feasibility the stage at which finance is required method of financing etc so all these things depends upon the selection of the proposal and after selection appraisal of the proposal will be done by the venture capital finan financing company or venture capitalist okay the exit policy mode of compensation deal structure profitability at the time of exit of which we will discuss in the next coming steps these all are considered before selecting an investment proposal so while the, uh, at the time of selection of an investment proposal all these things should be kept in mind by the venture capitalist so on the basis of all these factors they select a particular investment proposal mainly based on the feasibility of the idea okay so anyway the business idea will be a new idea uh, something innovative so they need to look into the feasibility also so that is regarding the first step so after selecting a particular business plan or uh, an investment proposal the next step involved is the valuation of the proposal okay so it is mainly done to assess the profitability and also the viability of the new venture they should uh, see whether that will be profitable or uh, viable to invest in that particular proposal and at this step they decide the percentage of venture capital financing ownership in the new venture so what should be the ownership proportion what should be the ownership of the entrepreneur and what should be the contribution of ownership of the venture capitalist this decision also takes place at this point of time and also the mode of financing compensation and deal structuring is also based on the valuation so while talking about valuation there are mainly three types of valuation methods that can be adopted by the venture capitalist first is the conventional valuation method so conventional venture capitalist valuation method means in this particular method the starting time and the exit time of the venture investment is only considered okay so the starting time and the exit time of the venture investment is only considered so this valuation is known as conventional valuation method so in this particular method uh, it ignores the losses and all uh, and only concentrates on exit so whatever be the um, end whether it be profit or loss they only concentrate on exit then the second valuation method is first chicago method so in the first chicago method the entire earnings stream of the venture investment is considered okay that means there are three alternative scenarios uh, success sideways survival and failure and this these are considered to be the probability ratings by the venture capitalist so either it can be a success or a sideways survival just survived the market or it can be uh, an utter failure okay so that is uh, discussed in first chicago method and the third method we have is the revenue multiplier method uh, in this particular method uh, a factor called revenue multiplier is used to estimate the value of the venture capital investment okay so considering the limitations of other methods the chicago method gives the better results in valuation of an investment proposal so these are the basic things that you should remember at the time of valuation of a proposal or in the second step of venture capital process okay then third step we have the deal structuring so uh, here structuring a deal something is going to be dealt with so structuring a deal means uh, deciding the financial instruments through which venture capital investment is made so in majority or basically venture capital financing is done through uh, shares or through equity shares so equity instruments are basically uh, used as an investment uh, instrument by the venture capitalist but there are uh, other financial instruments also through which venture capitalists make their investment so now let's see the methods or uh, the instruments for uh, deal structuring in venture capital financing 
So the first one is the equity instrument. That means the venture capitalist purchase the equity shares of that particular new venture and provide them with money. Okay, so that is purchasing equity instruments and uh, these equity instruments can be ordinary equity shares or non voting shares, equity warrants or preference shares, etc. Anything. So that is the first one. Second instrument is the debt instrument. So debt instruments are like the venture capital financing can subscribe to the debt instruments of the venture. That means they can subscribe to the debentures, bonds, secured premium notes, etc. and help them uh, with a particular sum of money. Okay, they can subscribe to the debentures of the particular new venture and give them money. So, uh, the main advantage of this subscribing to the debt instrument is that it helps the entrepreneur to retain their control in management and also the venture capitalist uh, earn a fixed yield. That means in the form of interest, they earn a fixed yield also. So, that is the benefit of uh, debt instrument. Okay. Then third one we have conditional loans. Uh, so conditional loans are basically the interest free loans that are provided by the venture capitalist. Okay, uh, like we have uh, giving loans. So uh, in this case there is no uh, any predetermined repayment schedule. No repayment schedule is there. Next is uh, conventional loans. So in case of conventional loans, it is also a form of loan financing. And the main uh, peculiarity is that it attracts uh, or um, it involves a very lower rate of interest. And uh, that is in the beginning. Okay, so lower rate of interest is in the initial stage and uh, followed by an increase when the venture units become commercially operational. So once the venture is okay, well and good, performing good uh, or uh, traveling in the path of success then what happens the interest rate uh, is being increased then next is uh, income notes so income notes means it is basically a combination of the conditional loans and conventional loans there is lower rate of interest rate as well as royalty on sales so in case of conditional loans royalty on sales should be paid towards the principal and the interest component. So that feature of conditional loans and the lower interest rate feature of the conventional loans are put together and it is uh, formed out to be an income note. So these are the different instruments through which a venture capitalist invest in a particular venture or uh, invest, uh, give an investment to a particular entrepreneur. Okay. Now we have the fourth step in the process that is a post investment services. So venture capitalist uh, has already decided the instrument through which they should uh, go for investment and after per investment now we have the post investment services. So the post investment services are the value added services which are also known as investment nurturing. So nurturing the investment. So that means they give uh, them with guidance or management skills of venture etc okay they also ensure the proper utilization of assistance which is provided and also implement the venture within time and cost projected so after the uh, the steps or the activities after the investment step is done by venture capitalist providing them with advices guidance then skills ensuring proper utilization of assistance etc are given by uh, venture capitalist okay so um, the third point is the main objective that is to ensure proper utilization and also to implement venture within the time and cost so here we have uh, three types of investment nurturing so that is already given there hands-on hands-off and hands holding nurturing so um, as the name suggests or uh, as the name points out Hands-on nurturing means it is a continuous and ongoing involvement of the venture capital capitalist or the venture capital financing through representation in the board of the venture. So there is a continuous support of the venture capital financing that is hands-on. Then hands-off nurturing means VCFs that means venture capital financing play only a very passive role in the affairs of the venture. So it is totally given to the venture to grow by themselves. Just 
they are acting as a they are having a passive role only then hands holding nurturing means it is something between the hands sewn and hands off a small support is always there so these are the three types of investment nurturing okay then now we have the next step that is the evaluation and monitoring so evaluation and monitoring basically means uh, it it helps in the evaluating of the investment so this evaluation process helps them to identify any operational problems and to solve the operation problems and also helps them to achieve growth and profitability so it evaluates the performance of the investment how is it going is it making profit or is it going good or is it going bad etc okay they also monitor monitors and continuously involves in the functioning of the company so uh, evaluation and monitoring is one of the most important step in a venture capital process so the venture capitalist values their investment portfolio uh, during different period of time to monitor and evaluate the performance of their investment okay then we come to the last step that is the exit so once the vcfs feel that the venture is going good entrepreneurs are going good um, they are making profit uh, step by step or they are growing step by step then slowly they will exit from that particular agreement or deal that means if it is uh, like uh, by subscribe or by purchasing the equity shares they will the vcfs will sell the shares to the public and uh, they'll they'll just come out of the deal okay so um, the exit time is pre-planned it is the last stage in the process and the exit time is pre-planned at the time of entering into this agreement and also they will realize the investment to make profit either to make profit or to minimize loss so they will not go for loss just to minimize loss and uh, there are different options available for uh, exit they are public issue OTCI route, sale of shares to entrepreneurs, liquidation, sale to another company, etc. So, public issue means uh, it is the most important and popular form of exit. That means they will uh, sell the shares um, or sell the investment to the public so that they can subscribe to it. Okay. Then, OTCI route means uh, the VCFs can exit by selling the shares by way of a brought out deal to an OTCI member. So, it is a means over the counter exchange of India. So, that particular member will offer the same to public at a future date. Then, sale of shares to entrepreneurs or employees uh, means this is also known as the promoter's buyback. buyback. They will uh, sell the shares to the entrepreneurs back or to the employees back. Then, sale to another company is um, the entire company is sold to another company that means it is also known as trade sales so it can be either through management buyout or management buy-in and the last we have uh, liquidation so liquidation is like a forced exit option that is uh, resulting from a failed venture investment so the investment sorry the venture has failed to um, gear up so that uh, they are forced to exit from this particular invest uh, particular agreement or deal so these are uh, the stages uh, or the steps involved in the venture capital process these are uh, which are very important while learning about the concept of venture capital so go through the videos and explanations again and again try to understand the process and link it with the practical examples that we are watching in the daily market and the daily economy so thank you have a nice day uh, we shall meet with another video tomorrow